today I can't sleep. Wednesday too. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday break my heart. Wednesday morning. Wednesday happy days. Wednesday. Wednesday stay. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Kanye West was hospitalized on Monday and put under psychiatric observation at a Los Angeles area hospital. LA cops responded to a medical welfare call Monday afternoon. There was no criminal activity and the decision to hospitalize West was considered for his own health and safety. Sources say West has been suffering from exhaustion and sleep deprivation and went to the hospital today under the consultation of his physician. The news follows a pretty bizarre weekend for Yeezy, including rants endorsing President-elect Donald Trump, calling out Beyonce and Jay-Z, cutting a concert short, and then canceling the remainder of his St. Pablo tour. Following the news, Kim Kardashian skipped her scheduled appearance at the Angel Ball in New York City, which would have been her first public appearance since she was robbed at gunpoint in a Paris hotel. Oh my God, the drama! The Recording Academy and CBS announced Tuesday that James Corden, the Emmy and Tony Award winning host of The Late Late Show, will host the 59th annual Grammy Awards slated for February 12th. Quote, thanks to Carpool Karaoke, we've all been on some incredible rides with James, and the Recording Academy couldn't be more excited to welcome his passion and enthusiasm for music, both as an entertainer and a fan to the Grammy stage, unquote. That from Recording Academy president and CEO, Neil Portnow. He's got big shoes to fill after the magnificent run we had with LL Cool J, but James is a commanding, dynamic showman who is perfect to host the Grammy Awards. One of the biggest weekends of the year for flying, and if that's you, just be ready. The hands and fingers of the TSA are waiting. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, before you fly out of town. I said, young man, before the plane leaves the ground, there's one thing you must still do, yeah. Young man, step on out of your shoes. I said, young man, they check your carry-on too. I said, young man, and if there's too much shampoo, they just might pull you out of line. You're getting felt up by the TSA. You're getting felt up by the they check everything in the back and the front, and they probably cup your jaw. You're getting felt up by the TSA. You're getting felt up by the TSA. It's embarrassing if you let out a squeal while some new cops are Sources say that Donald Trump's youngest son, Barron, will remain in New York this school year to finish the fourth grade. Then he will join his dad in D.C. to assume a cabinet position. President Obama says Donald Trump's election is not the apocalypse. Easy for him to say he can move back home to Kenya. Ricky Martin and his boyfriend are engaged. After a brief honeymoon, the couple will reside in Vice President-elect Mike Pence's nightmares. Kellyanne Conway said Donald Trump is working 18 hours a day on assembling his cabinet. Speaking of spending 18 hours assembling a cabinet, that's exactly what I did on the weekend when I got home from Ikea. A judge ordered rapper The Game to pay $7 million in a sexual assault lawsuit. Not much is known about the judge other than he's now Bill Cosby's worst nightmare. Astronaut Peggy Whitson arrived at the International Space Station the other day, becoming the oldest female astronaut in space at 56. Not only does she put in a full day at the space station as a hardworking scientist, she also finds the time in the evening to make everyone chicken soup. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. 
The NFL is unsure why TV ratings are down 15% this year. But for now, let's cut to the Papa John nationwide Geico analysis of all the penalties and injuries before we cut to commercial. Hey, NFL, nobody gives a f- Corey Feldman has revealed that he's proposed to his Canadian girlfriend because he feared Donald Trump would deport her and also because she has a steady income. Hey, Feldman, nobody gives a f- And Paris Hilton says she voted for Donald Trump. She related to the fact that he's also screwed millions of Americans. Hey, fire crotch, nobody gives a f- Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.